Right now I'm at Antonelli Poultry in Providence, Rhode Island, where birds, rabbits, ducks, quail, pigeons, and geese are killed on demand for customers. So we're gonna go inside and see the victims if we can. This is strange. Put your head in here and look like you're the chicken whose head's about to be chopped off. This is a live market in Providence, Rhode Island where all these animals are killed on demand for customers. And it looks pretty busy, so we're gonna go in and see if we can see any of the animals. We're gonna see the victims where people can choose which animal they want killed. And it smells disgusting already. Look at all of the poop. Pigeons. <laughs> These quails are crowded, they're in fear. It smells terrible in here. that they have to live in. This is, I'm, I'm shaking right now. This is horrendous. Look at the piles and piles, like it's never been cleaned. And these birds are crowded in here. They're missing feathers. And this one, this is probably the I mean, it is the last freedom that this bird will experience. It's just walking around seeing members of their species in cages. They're fighting, they're so crowded that they're fighting. And they're, look at them missing feathers. For what? A few minutes for someone to eat them when you can eat the vegan alternative instead. Not kill someone, not kill your health, not kill the earth. Not force someone into a, a cage, a life of torture with waste dripping on them. Yeah, they, they're missing their feathers. I'm not sure where these birds come from, but they could be egg-laying hens where all the nutrients go into to laying eggs. They're bred, selectively bred, so their nutrients go to the eggs instead of themselves. And that's why they lose their feathers. Or it just could be from pecking, from crowding. Look at the filth on the walls. 
and they have to live in this until they're brutally killed. And here it is, the killing, the bodies chopped up, the remains on the floor of people just like our dogs who feel fear and pain. They smell this just like I do, but they have to live in this until they're brutally killed for a sandwich. And you can probably tell I'm shaking holding this like this is, it's terrifying for me, but imagine what these birds are going through and what they're about to go through. When their friends are being chopped up just a few feet away. crowded in here. This type of bird grow so fast that they can't stand up. So these ones are all sitting. They're bred this way, so they have a lot of what people call meat, which is just their flesh. It's someone's body. And it's likely these birds are still babies, but they're genetically manipulated to grow so fast that they're, they're about this size when they're just a few weeks old. This one is injured and it looks like they're all injured, like they're, they're raw, like their bodies are like pink and raw and sore from being pecked, from being sick. Look how crowded that is, like this one's face is pressed against the cage for a sandwich for for a few minutes for someone to eat them just eat the plant version there's gardein there's like beyond meat there's tofu you can make to taste like chicken bodies I think you get the message that, that they're suffering and it's just for a moment of sensory pleasure and that we don't need this. So I'm gonna get out of here. And I've never felt better about my choices being vegan. I feel great not contributing to this terror, this torture. Look at this innocent, sweet face. Someone so vulnerable. And us as compassionate people have the duty to protect them and at least not torture them. Yeah, that's people chopping up their bodies behind us. I haven't seen the murder of one in here yet, but it's happening right behind me. I, I know it's happening and I'm, I'm just not gonna... Look, I know, I know and I don't contribute to that. But if you do, you should see that. You should come in here yourself and witness what's happening. The smell, the, the murder going on behind me. Again, it's the last, this is the last freedom this bird is gonna have, seeing their friends, their friends in, in piles of 
poop smelling this disgusting poop and, and dead bodies. And that one's beak cut off. A lot of their beaks have been cut off. And that the reason for that is to reduce the pecking or the injuries because of the pecking and crowding. But it doesn't happen. They're still obviously injured for a moment of sensory pleasure for someone that absolutely does not need to eat their bodies for any reason. So, yeah, I gotta get out of here. so if you want to eat someone's bodies, just try the vegan version instead. Don't cause this. Looking around. Oh, I see you got the picture. Take a picture of chicken. Can yeah. I help you do something else? Oh no, thank you. You just want to take pictures? Is that yeah. why you came in? Yeah. That's unusual, don't you think? But you want to buy something? No. Yeah. Here are the two pictures. For what reason? To document. Oh. The last time this happened, someone was out in front of the building with signs saying the chicken shouldn't be executed. But of course, you try and eat them with the feathers on. It's not a very good idea. And then the following day, they were very nice to bring the chicken flowers. I thought that was very, very nice. But they had the signs first saying that we were illegally, you know, we shouldn't be killing chickens and stuff like that. Is it's that a, what your intention is? No, it's illegal to kill the chicken? No, no, no. Was, they were saying it's unfair to kill the chicken. Yeah. Well, you can't eat it with the feathers on it. How are you going to do it? You know what I mean? Right. Right. So well, what's your intention? We don't need to eat them. For a documentary, what's, it, what's your intentions for it? Just to document the conditions that they're in, you know, there's a lot for of what, though, honey? waste. That's for what it. school? Are you in school? No. Just for your own personal use? Yeah. You should have asked permission first, so. Oh, I'm sorry about that. that. Oh, this, this is terrible. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, though. I'm just wondering, though, why are they all like injured and, and raw? They're and, injured. Like, yeah, like they're not. They're missing feathers. I see some of them with their legs up. Some of them are injured. Yeah. I'm just wondering why. I don't know. They come out of New York, so probably those people may have. Mishandled them. Yeah. And I'm wondering about the That's waste enough. too, why there's so so much waste in here. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. Thank you. But you have no we'll comment. The protest side. No comment about all the waste that they're forced to live in. Thank you for coming in though. Thank but you. I'm just wondering. I'm wondering if, if there's any health concerns about all the waste that they're living in. That was good. You can see that how being in a place of violence makes people violent. And of course he wouldn't answer me because there's no answer, there's no excuse to force beings into cages at all, but especially full of waste and, and they are very neglected. And then they blame the people in New York. Not one person should be supporting this. The people in New York people here should not be supporting this and at that vigil that I was at no one was saying this is illegal but it absolutely should be because the earth is dying because of farming animals animals are obviously suffering we have no right to kill them we have no right to use them in any way at all they're their own being And it's a, a, an extreme health hazard, eating animals at all, but it, look at the waste that they were in. So, I'm sure there will be vigils here in the future. I hope you can make it out. And thanks for watching and tell everyone you know, even in these little, small, local, family, whatever they call it, shops, 
there's still abuse going on, even in the most so-called humane slaughterhouse or farm or anything. Exploiting someone is wrong. Using someone for your own benefit, harming them is wrong, and we don't need to do it. And that was terrible, and I feel terrible now, but it's nothing compared to what the chickens go through. So stop eating them, speak up for them. Thanks for watching. Bye.